Hello, today, I'm so excited because I'm pulling random cards to do these videos and I'm gonna go through every tarot card in its upright and reverse position, a total of 156 videos. And today, on video three, I pulled my most favorite card in any tarot deck and that is Major Arcana 17, The Star. So I'm so excited to talk to you about that card, what it means to me. I will give you a personal story about me that uh, helps personify the star, if you will. So when I do major arcanas on here, I like to talk about what comes before and what comes after. And in this particular trifecta, it is the tower that precedes the star. So the most feared card um, in the tarot deck comes before my favorite card. And then immediately after major arcana 18 is the moon. So we'll talk about um, the tower and the moon in relation to the star, and then we'll really deep dive on, on what the star is all about, what the what the meanings are in the card, that type of thing, what the symbols, I should say. So the, the, the star, what is she all about? So if we look at the star, we just look at the card itself, and we study it, we, we can gain so much from it. So... Here is a woman that is at her most vulnerable, um, completely stripped naked, and she's kneeling down, and she's got two earthen vessels worth of water. Um, we talked about water in other videos, but let's let, let, let's revisit that. Water in a tarot deck, the element of water, its cups are represented by water, but it has to do with emotions and who we are as a person. Um, and so that's important here to know as to why she is pouring water back into the earth. One jug of water is her conscious and one is her subconscious. But why is she pouring it back and why is she naked? And why is there this big star above her and seven smaller stars and a mountain range in the back? Let's go through all those things. But before we do that, we have to talk about what led to this. Why is she naked? Why has she been stripped of all her clothing? The tower. A feared card in tarot, and we're not going to deep dive on it on this video, but it is essentially the life force, the rug has been ripped out from under you in your life for some reason. There's a major, major issue that has happened in your life. Um, it could be the loss of a, a parent, a loved one, firing a job, there could be, you could have had a house fire. You could have had a person leave you that you've been with for years. All kinds of bad tragedies happen to us in our, in our fool's journey, in our life. And that's what Tower is. Now the good thing about Tower, and we're going to deep dive on Tower later, but um, I welcome the Tower moments because they suck when they happen. I mean, they suck badly, but then you can always count on looking back and be like, I get it now. I get what the universe lesson was and how much better I am now as a result of that horrible thing. But, so she has been stripped, so that's why the Star Lady is naked, because she's been stripped of everything. She's had a major catastrophe, and now that's some welcome reprieve coming into this transformational moment of the star. So that's why she's naked. Why is she pouring water back into the earth? I like to explain it to people as such. It's the old her. It's the old person she used to be. And there wasn't wrong, anything wrong with who she used to be. In fact, she was a great person, had a great life, but then this moment happened. And so she's returning and nurturing the earth, her conscious and subconscious, back into the earth because who she was wasn't bad. So she's returning that to make way for the new her, the transformation, the, the, the new renewed sense of optimism and hope and energy to do something and become something that is truer to her current path or her truest path, I should say. So that's kind of why she is the way she is. There's mountain ranges in the background. And anytime you see mountains flow through in tarot, it just symbolizes that there's going to be ongoing challenges. It's going to be a pain in the ass from time to time. We're all going to have those days. And I think, you know, I should pause there a little bit. I think we as humans, you know, we, we are force fed things about, you know, the true key to happiness and obtaining happiness. Do we ever get there, though? I mean, really? Even if you win the lottery, you know, people think, you know, that are struggling, oh, if I just won the lottery. You read about these stories about people that won the lottery, and they're miserable. There's always going to be struggles, and so that's all that's symbolizing. The big star above her is her core value system, surrounded by her chakra system. This have another smaller star, so it's really rich in symbolism, if you will. 
and I, I just adore this card because I've had so many moments like that. And so rather than dive on textbook stuff for this, I just want to tell my story a little bit. Many of you that are watching this probably know this because you're friends of mine and we've talked. Those that you don't, I think it's a, it's a really important story for you to hear um, as my star moment and my tower moment leading to a star moment. So again, I worked in information technology for many, many years and, and, and did very well and worked my way up to management and directorship and analytics and, and managing teams and IT stuff, having living through someone else's vision. I mean, that's what it was for me working in corporate America. That works for a lot of people, but it doesn't for me. I am so, I, I, I've got such a litany of things going on in my head all the time that I want to accomplish, I don't want to do. And you don't get to do that in corporate America as much. It's like return, uh, report to your desk, you're there for eight hours and you drive home and you do, and in my case, it was an hour one way and an hour back. And I just had had enough of it at some point and just up and quit my job in 2019. And here I sit, and so I, I had no plan uh, when I quit. Now, I will tell you that we have invested in some rental property. So I don't want to encourage people just to quit your job without a plan. I, I, I did have that financial backing that enabled me to do this. And so I quit my job, and all along I was wanting to do more stuff with tarot, but also more metaphysical stuff. So at the time when I quit my job, I had my side hustle, which was called Tarot on Winter, and I would read tarot cards for people do tarot readings out of my home. I had a little tarot room set up with all the aesthetic and it was great. But I really wanted more. I didn't just want to do this side gig. You know, I wanted to devote my time to this. And so, sight unseen, without knowing anything about what I was doing, I signed a lease in downtown Delaware and started building Raven's Cauldron, my store. And I wanted it to be different than most metaphysical stores. Um, I have an affinity for tarot, so I wanted to have a lot of selection of tarot, but be able to talk tarot, talk shop with people that come in, because there's so many aspiring tarot readers, but I also wanted to have some of the rarer, coolest crystals, and really teach classes on how to use them. I wanted to teach classes on candle magic and manifestation, and just have really cool products. I can't tell you how well it's went. It's beyond my wildest dreams. Um, business has uh, up 800 percent since when I opened and we just uh, crossed the two-year milestone we're putting metaphysical themed escape rooms upstairs we're opening a second Ravens Cauldron location in Marysville and my partner is going to retire from Ohio Health and run that so it's been well um, and you know why it's been well I want to tell you and it's, it's everything to do with this star moment when you know, you know, and when you finally have your star moment where you've been stripped of everything and, and, and you just have to embrace change and get on with it. You've got an idea, you know what you want to do, you know what makes you excited, you know what gets you out of bed in the morning, and boom, you run with it and you go. And that's what I did here. You know, I can't imagine going back to information technology and working in that anymore. And it wasn't that I hated that or that those were bad years of my life because they weren't. Um, I learned a lot. But here's the thing about IT. I never felt like I was really good at it. I felt like I, I, I was middle of the road. I, I, I knew data and what I needed to do, but I never felt like I was in a community and that I really was respected for it and it was anything other than what it was. I feel really skilled with metaphysical stuff. I feel like a guy. I, I've been doing this stuff since I was born. I've been attracted to this stuff. I've always loved crystals. I've loved everything to do with them. I've loved candle magic, manifestation. All things arcane, right? And so I knew that that was my path. And I just waited until I was in my mid 40s to do it. And I did it. I was stripped of everything. I was the naked woman in the star card because all I ever knew was reporting to corporate America for IT in doing my IT work because that's what I was taught. You get a job, you get insurance, you go to work every day and you do your thing. Well, I shook it up after losing my parents, as you know, and, and here we sit at Raven's Cauldron. And uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So that's a very personal uh, story about the star. You each are gonna have those moments in your life. And like I said, you're gonna have the tower moment that that usually leads to this. You know, you have a, you have a major, major, catastrophe or what it feels to be a catastrophe that leads you and the universe has such funky ways of 
of, of guiding us on our path, and that's exactly what the star is all about. It is the universe's call to get you a sense of renewal and hope about getting on your truest and most authentic path. It's a transformational card, and it is simply just wonderful, wonderful card. If you're studying tarot, friends, I highly recommend just getting lost in that card. Um, if you also are studying Bridget S. Holmont, Biddy Tarot out of Australia. She has wonderful, wonderful guided meditations that she sells. They're called Soul Meditations, and there's one for all the cards, and I, I would highly recommend you to do this with the star if you're interested in this, and just kind of step into the card and get to know it, and she does a wonderful job at that, but I, I, I can't say enough good about this card. And uh, we all have these moments in our life, these transformations, these sense of renewed hope, and sometimes they really, really, really hit on a 10 out of 10 and you just feel fantastic as a result. And that's my uh, star love, if I will, if you will. Coming after the star, Major Arcana 18 is the moon, a little less savory card. So that's what's interesting about the star, and that's what's interesting about my life, you know? It takes going through the weeds to get to the good, and so on both sides of the star are kind of unsavory cards. We've talked about the tower, you know, a major life catastrophe, a major life moment that was a wake-up call to, to put us into a, a mode of transfer, transformation to let us be who we're truly meant to be. And then when you have the moon, when you get on that path, and, and, and you've had your transformation and you're back on your authentic path, you always just kind of got to be careful and don't, don't, don't always fall for the shiny objects and, and, and dig deep. Everything isn't always what it seems. The moon is all about illusion and, and, and trickery. And just be careful. Um, and, and, and the way that I can do this trifecta uh, of these cards is where the moon comes in. You know, we had the, we had the tragedy with the, the, with the tower and it, it was painful, it was awful, and we got to where we needed to go with that transformation moment. And now we have the moon. It's about jealousy and others, and especially when it comes up in, in cards, uh, it's that you're being a badass now, and people sometimes are unsavory and don't like to see that, and like, ooh, and jealousy. So be careful about who you pick on your new path, on your ventures and stuff, and make sure that you get to the bottom of it and you see things for what they really are. That's, that's the heart and soul of this. The Major Arcana 17, the star, I highly encourage you to study this card. It's a a wonderful, wonderful card on the Fool's, Gener uh, Fool's Journey. Again, I am Brian. I own Raven's Cauldron. You can find us at 110 South Sandusky in Delaware and soon to be 113 South Main Street in Marysville. Ravenscauldron.com. You can go there and click on online shopping and get to our Shopify site that has all the products that we sell. If you want to book a tarot reading, call the store, 740-417-8402. Follow us on Instagram, at Raven's Cauldron, TikTok, at Raven's Cauldron, and Facebook, at Raven's Cauldron, Delaware. I appreciate your time. I'm excited for the next card and to get all this content out to each and every one of you. Blessed be.